Christy Siefkin, and we're here in San Francisco at the Academy of Art University Graduation Fashion Show. Not only are these designers showing their clothes on the catwalk, but they're also showing their portfolios to top design firms in the hope of landing a position in the fashion industry. So forget being fashionably late. Let's get inside and take a peek behind the scenes. What you're feeling right now about to show your work to all of these very famous designers and fashion houses? I'm a little bit nervous, but excited. Um, nervous wreck. Overwhelmed in a positive way. <laughs> oh, exhilarated. <laughs> Tell me, what are your hopes for today, showing these portfolios to top people in the industry? Well, I'm just very excited for them to see what I've put so much work and love into. It's kind of cool being able to talk to someone who's actually there in the field that's like a bigger name and stuff like that because that doesn't happen every day. I'm really trying to doing all this for my family you know so just to have make them proud and that's really what I hope for in the end. What I'd love to hear about is what you're looking for in a young designer and looking at these portfolios what is it that you're looking to jump out to say that's somebody who I want to work with? I mean, I think one of the things that we look for is versatility, someone who's kind of open to different um, ideas, and also someone maybe who has a, uh, ideas of their own. I like their enthusiasm and also sometimes their, their innocent way of reacting on certain things. They learn a lot from us, but we learn so much from them, I mean, because they come with such an amazing view, all these fresh ideas. Our designers were inspired by every source imaginable. David Bowie, postmodern architecture, even great white shark attacks. So let's go grab a front row seat and let these designers inspire us. How are you feeling right now? I am at a loss for words. I've been waiting for this moment for so long and now that it's finally here, I kind of feel like I'm walking on cloud nine. I I'm still in shock right now. I, I, I didn't think I was gonna win it. There's so many, there's, there were so many good you know, designs coming down the runway. I was shocked, like I honestly, I could not believe it. I tried out and I said I have nothing to lose. I was really amazed by the quality of the knitwear. It was really outstanding. Was really like we've been coming for quite a few years and it, it gets tighter every year. I think the students' work was all amazing, even the ones that didn't make it on the runway tonight, yeah. but it's really impressive. I think it was a really strong show. They each had an opinion, a different one, and I thought that made for great strength. The fashion world is all about tomorrow. It may grow from the past, but it's about tomorrow, it's about what is new, what's fresh, what's different, and it's there to embrace. Plans are to get out of San Francisco. Go to Paris. You know, I feel like I'm set for the next year and a half. Like, I mean, what else can anybody ask for? Well, actually, next I want to get my MBA and go to business school and take over the world. Not only did these designers wow us with their collections, but they also landed internships and full-time positions at top-notch design firms including BCBG Max Azria, Abercrombie & Fitch, and Chrysler. So the next time that you're in your local store, look to see these collections that have walked off the runway into your neighborhood. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Christy Siefkin.